Good morning. I hope you're having an awesome start to the weekend. Um, I wanted to come to you with a win of the week. I've been working with the family for three years um, and to prepare them to buy a house. So what the situation is, is they're self-employed, hardworking, working as a driver for uh, Uber and Lyft and a single parent working hard. And, and it's been great to see because what they're able to do now is they bought a beautiful or buying a beautiful place that is um, worked hard on finding the right place actually and ended up being a manufactured home, beautiful property. And the win here was a couple of things. So I want to share with you how we structured this. One was we used one year tax returns uh, based on guidelines. A lot of lenders will require two years or even three years. And what we're able to do through conventional financing and our uh, underwriting, we were able to use one year uh, tax returns, which is great. And then also we actually used her son's uh, income that's living with her. Her son lives with her now and her son's going to continue to live with her. But one thing that's a little bit different on this one is, um, and the son receives self, uh, commission. So usually uh, you're going to look at two years requirement of commission income. But I peeled back the layers and I said, well, the situation is he's w 2 So yes, he gets commission, but if he doesn't get paid uh, his commission, he would get a W-2 wage. And in Arizona, there's a minimum wage requirement as even for W-2 commission employees. So he's been there, been there a while, hasn't been there two years, but what we did was we used their uh, minimum wage income as the verifiable and, and, and qualifying income. So Again, great family, putting them in a great house. The alternative to rent, rents are through the roof. So not a great alternative to uh, put them in that situation. And so I just want to share that win of the week. Just super excited about it and help, you know, happy to help them with this situation. You know, obviously the concern right now is what's going on in the market. I did a quick video on that they're, you know, raising rates and they're looking at continuing to raise the Fed funds rate, which is pushing interest rates up. But just recently, you know, it's been a little bit, uh, we got a little bit of a breather. This is the uh, mortgage-backed security market. It's been going down is, is the opposite direction of rates. Um, this going down shows uh, that rates are actually getting a little bit um, better here, but worse on this side over here. Rates are continuing to um, get worse, going down is uh, opposite of rates. But we had this little bit of a breather the last three days that has been uh, great. We've been kind of bouncing in this range here. So hopefully we can find some more room to the upside, which will mean rates will actually get a little bit better. Um, so we're going to keep a close eye on this. The other thing that we watch is what's called the 10-year treasury. 10-year treasury also took a little, this is uh, showing where the 10-year treasury has gone up to. And then it's now taking a little bit of a breather. So we'll see. We get lock indicators in different times on when to lock rates. So we get to watch this all this kind of I call it boring candlestick charting stuff, but we get daily updates and uh, information on this. So trying to time it the best we can. So hopefully we get a little bit of a breather with these this increase in rates. Rates have continually you know gone up, uh, unfortunately, for um, pretty consistently for the last uh, three months, you know, since really four or five months, actually, since uh, the beginning of the year. Um, we've seen, you know, about a move of two plus percent in the 30 year fixed rate. Uh, so it's been a big move. So on to some more good, some fun stuff. So um, I went and toured and we're doing a fundraiser for, it's called Sunrise Acres uh, Children's Group Home in Mesa. This home is awesome. So what they do is they're kind of the in-between um, where kids are home, uh, become homeless or in a situation where they're living with uh, friends and they don't have a, a long-term home to be at, but they're in between foster cares. Maybe they have not gone into the foster care system yet. Uh, Sunrise Acres in Mesa has been has been a place where kids have been able to go to usually between one to two years, and they go there uh, to kind of either you know either have a place to live and uh, and then either be reunited with family or possibly go to a foster care. A lot of them either stay there and then, you know, move out on their own, depending on their age, or go and uh, find a family member to move back in with. Uh, and that situation is the best, a little bit better than a lot of times in foster care. Foster care is great, uh, but the, the system is 
is uh, inundated. But this place is amazing. Been there over 50 years. I think actually since since the 1950s. And uh, we just toured it. Amazing place. They have a barn for the kids. They, they actually do 4-H out there. They have, you know, big playgrounds. They have a pool. They have a greenhouse where the kids actually can grow their own vegetables and actually sell them. Super cool place. What they're trying to do is they're trying to build also um, sports facilities like a football, soccer field. They need to redo their cafeteria. Cafeteria is pretty old. We, we went in there and uh, it works, but they feed all the kids there. Every meal is actually eaten out of the cafeteria. So the home uh, room parents, they don't have to cook them food every time. Each home has about eight to 10 kids in it. And then there's uh, a parent that lives on site that is the, essentially like a fo the foster parent that lives within there. And so this place is amazing. We have a quick video and this is the, actually the link. Um, if you go here, this is our, um, our link to give at. And also um, there's a video on there that shows a little bit about what we're doing and explain what our, uh, our group is doing for them. So I just wanna share it with you. We're very passionate about it and excited about it. And you'll probably hear from me a phone call uh, or two and, and uh, a little more information on this. Our goal is to get to $50,000. I think last time we checked, we were at $13,000. So I'm just super excited about it. Again, the name is Sunrise Acres Children's Home in Mesa. If you Google it, you'll find a bunch of information on there as well. It is such a cool place. It's funny because I just was talking to a couple of our uh, past um, uh, clients and partners of ours. And they're like, oh yeah, I know somebody that went there that they're such a great place and we love donating. So, uh, you know, surprisingly it was, it was good to hear that other people had heard about it and get, been giving to it, but, uh, let's get, let's give them a little bit more money. Let's get them that, that sports, you know, the, the, the fields are looking for, let's get them the new cafeteria. And they also want to build a new house for more kids to be able to handle there too. So again, I, any, any donation would be much appreciated. Have a great weekend. Just wanted to come in and shoot this quick video and get it off to you guys. Have a great one. If you need anything for mortgages, I'm here for you. Best number to refer out is 480-553-8770. You could call or text us there. Be honored to help any friends, family, or coworkers buy, sell, or refinance. Take care. Signing off for now. Bye.